hello everyone. Um, this is day four of my coverage of what's happening in French politics. I, I thought to uh, summarize the day's events and, and set the scene for the, the dramas that are coming up tomorrow. Uh, the synopsis is that, um, that, that the, the parties have coalesced, coalesced into three broad alliances, uh, the far left, the far right, and the centrists, and um, this was covered quite well uh, uh, by um, by these guys. BFM TV, they're, they're the largest uh, French rolling news channel. Um, so going through it, they they start by talking about um, uh, how the union on the left has has coalesced, uh, consisting of the rebels, the Greens, uh, the socialists. And the communists, uh, they're going to present themselves as a, a a new front, right? A populist front, effectively. Okay, as as is quite common on the left. Um, uh, but the thing about them is, and where is that bit? Okay, for the moment, um, little is known about the content of the agreement, um, and they're holding a press conference tomorrow. To talk about what that will look like. Okay, so they're they're trying to agree a policy platform that they can present to the French electorate, despite the fact that between those parties they have there are quite a few differences between them. So it will be interesting to see what they present, what they can agree upon, and present to be elected upon. Okay, uh, the next thing is uh, is is the Republican Party, the natural party of government, who only got seven point three percent of the vote in the European elections. Um, it, and this is quite a great line. Uh, it, it's um, it's saying that uh, the the soap opera of Eric Cotty continues. Okay, that that reflects that it has descended into farce. The drama is it's no longer drama. Uh, it it is farcical. Um, what uh, Chiotti's doing? Uh, he he went into the office. Um, the the office you know that that he locked, and then um, other party members broke into and. And uh, all of that kind of stuff the other day, um, he went in and then he went and he had lunch. He had he had lunch with with uh, Jordan Bardella and and Marine Le Pen of um, of uh, Rassemblement National, the far right party. Okay, so that's that's kind of a big screw you to the uh, Republicans who tried to get rid of him. Uh, just a quick diversion over at Le Monde, um, which is the you know the large French daily. Uh, they're reporting that um, he actually he he coordinated the announcement of his intention to do an alliance uh, with the RN uh, with this guy Vincent Bellori. Um, now this is Vincent Bellori. He's he's a French billionaire, um, traditional like did a whole bunch of business in Africa, and these days he owns a bunch of um, uh, like a media conglomerate. He's kind of like. Um, Silvio Berlusconi was in in uh, Italy, where he's he's right wing. He ha this guy has um, long standing relationships with guys like Sarkozy, uh, and um, he he has a reputation for being um, for having strict editorial control over over um, what the 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 various parts of his media organization produce. Um, for instance, if left wing politicians criticize him. Uh, what you tend to find, cr criticize them personally, what you find, tend to find is that then on the nightly news, um, they're getting bagged out by the news presenters. Okay, so um, that will be quite interesting to see what happens. Um, he did say, Kioti says, uh, I'm the president of the party. I'm going to my office. That's all. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, so he's continuing on like it's um, like it's business as as usual. Um, uh, afterwards, Jordan Bardella, he is saying um, uh, that they're, they're moving forward um, in the interests of the country. Okay, so um, there's a court case about uh, whether or not it was legitimate to move Chiotti, remove Chiotti. Uh, that goes before the French courts uh, overnight our time, so during the day in France, and um, there should be a decision on the spot. Okay, and I thought this was really funny. Um, this is talking about uh, uh, Macron. Now, Ma what Macron is doing is he's presenting, um, his argument is for rationalism to, uh, 
to the, the French voting public and um, to politicians within his own party and and um, in other parties. What he's trying to do is say, look, um, we've got these extremists on the left and we've got these extremists on the right. Uh, why not join with me on a rational centrist alternative, which upholds the um, the principles of the republic, which is which is a fairly solid argument and 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 you know more power to him. the The problem he has though is it, that he is uh, deeply unpopular, right, um, with the public. Like he's he's really not well liked um, to the point where this is saying that his his face is is a is a handicap. Okay. Um, what that means is that that um, politicians, even within his own party, don't want to be. Um, they don't want him campaigning with them. They don't want him um, appearing in photographs with them because they see it as detrimental to their own electoral chances. Like he's he's the kiss of death, which has got to be pretty hard to take. Uh, and he did have a, a pretty interesting comment. Um, he's away uh, conveniently at the G seven summit in in Italy. Uh, so he's kind of nicely out of the picture as far as the uh, candidates within his own party are concerned. Um, and he has a pretty good comment down here. He says, uh, <laughs> um, it didn't make me happy on Sunday. I've been working for seven years so the country can get better. I uh, didn't do it for myself. Um, I did it for everyone else and this isn't making me happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it isn't. Okay, all right, so that's kind of the synopsis. We've got uh, uh, broad coalitions appearing on the left, on the right, and coalescing around the centre. Um, for Macron, that is an appeal for um, the Social Democrats and whatever remains of the, of the Republicans to join in a centrist coalition. Okay, and tomorrow things, there's going to be some drama. Tomorrow there's going to be the court case. There's going to be the rump of the Republican Party uh, uh, deciding whether or not um, they, they need to have another vote to get rid of Chiotti. And we've also got the um, shared policy platform of the left-wing alliance to look forward to. All right, so it's all going to be an interesting day. Um, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of Simon TV. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, subscribe to my Substack for notifications when I release new material. Uh, um, so see you next time. Uh, thanks for tuning in.